we started more or less at the same time as Arts Admin, and we kind of known each other for a long time, but it wasn't till I think the first project we did together was 1987. So that first period, we did a lot of work which was largely in visual arts contexts, but Arts Admin, you know, more then than, than now, in fact, was, was more theatre-based, kind of. Used to, so the, the way you organise work in a theatrical basis is, is different, and how you, how you produce it is different, and, and how it's perceived is different. We've been working telematically, you know, well, for 10 years. In the past, being, you know, a picture from one place projected next to a picture from another or something like that. And then you have the relation between the screens or between the screen and the live performance. And we've found that slightly unsatisfactory. So I've been trying to sort of find ways of making it more spatial the distant space being in some in some way present in the local space and, and sharing that dissolve. It's a telematic performance uh, linking two countries, uh, Germany and England, um, meaning so primarily using video and sound to a combined performance to an audience in Berlin and in London at the same time. So we have this two-way video link. We're using the same size and shape of set in each place so that we can, we can synchronize the objects and the people and so they look like they're in the same space but in fact they're superimposed. In the corner of this space, in the, of this room, we have two walls and in the, right in the corner there's a door and when it's open in London, it's closed in Berlin. And they're actually synchronized by a very clever piece of coding, creating kind of uh, impossible spaces, in a way. The uncanny thing is when you superimpose your face in close-up with somebody else, and it doesn't look like either of you. It looks like a kind of a third character that seems to have a kind of identity of its own. It's, it's a very interesting mechanism, really, for talking about doubleness or talking about the inner and the outer, or, your, or, or what I see in you and what you think of yourself. Originally, I studied architecture, so I've always, you know, I, space has always been very important to me, as a, and I started doing performance at college, um, and it's always been highly spatial kind of performance that I've been involved with. I see performance as much as, you know, as, as much a piece of sculpture as an as a, as a exploration of psychology. I mean, the reason we started telematics in the first place because it some sort of ridiculously ambitious idea of turning the whole world into a performance space. We're doing bigger projects and, you know, just thinking about space it seemed sensible to think about space that was outside of this particular room. And there's a sort of a, 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 a flux of action all happening. And how do you capture that? How do you even begin to think about that? And in, in that sense, it's, it's spatial. And we're still thinking about spatial events. But yes, using technology to realize it. We're called Station House Opera. One of the reasons is to show everybody that's not theatre, which is kind of ironic because we do work in theatres quite a lot and we do go to a lot of theatre festivals. Where you, you present the work obviously affects the way it's received and so we have done kind of things in theatres. There's enough performance work for us to find a place, I think, without it being too difficult.